Welcome back to Timber Borners, where wood and beaver jokes are only understood by the old folk. This is season 7, episode 5, where we build a mega dam in the beaver simulator program. I couldn't think of a very good rhyme for that. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn. And I've got to say, like, from above, this place, it just looks like a normal season. Like, bad water? What bad water? There's no such thing. Yes, we dammed it off. It's going that way. I don't even care. No, but like, honestly, this season is going so well. And I'm like, I'm so, like, encouraged to play at the moment. Like, I'm probably recording this, like, a month before you actually see it. But I just, like, I love my little beavers. Look at them all. I love that we've conquered the poo water. I love, I love everything about this game. Anyway, we do have some preparation to do because, look, we got 2.6 days until a drought hits us. Yes, we have a lot of water, but food is slacking. I do have a load of builders now because I've got these four guys as well as the original. So I was just thinking, would it be worth, like, I don't know, adding like a dam up here just so that these berries keep growing? Oh, they take 12 days? 12 days? Okay, we're not going to see those berries anytime soon. I'm just worried they might die in the in the drought if they don't have water next to them like if i were to dam let's just say across there that would solve the issue so yeah say what let's very high prioritize those and then let's just check they are in range yeah you can see green area they can get to that okay so that should be built that should keep some water up here as long as they build it very very quick yeah thankfully we do have a dam there so all the food here should be fine it looks like if i if i want more food all of our farmers are occupied at the moment hang on let's pause you, you're just sat on your butt doing nothing. Who was that? Sevens. You're meant to be an OG beaver. What are you doing? But yeah, I might get another farmhouse down and like get some more food in. Depends how I'm feeling. Anyway, it's the end of a day already, which means I've only got two full days remaining. Did we get any of this damn built today? No, we didn't. We put eight logs in. Oh, there you go. Ten logs. Oh, there you go. They're all coming out. They're all working through the night. It's meant to be your time off. Anyway, sun has risen on the next day. Look. Oh, look at all those beavers. Where are you guys all going? Oh, they're grabbing logs from over there. Because that's the closest log pile. They're the, they're the worker beavers. Oh, wait. No, they're not. Where are they going? <laughs> Where are they all going? Oh, are they the haulers? I think they were hauler beavers. So they're prioritizing, like, making these work. Although that guy's sat on his butt. Who's that? Slump fist. More like slump fist. Because he's slumped over. Right, never mind. Never mind. Uh, anyway, wow, that's that's another day. We got one damn piece made. Um, if I do some quick maths, I don't think we're going to make this in time. All right, I'll tell you what, for the last day, let's just slow this down. Oh, no, we're down to 68 food. All right, man, we have too many beavers. We got 50 beavers. Where do they all come from? Oh, man, I don't know. I don't know if we're going <laughs> to... I don't know if we're going to survive this, actually. Like, not just the drought, but I just mean in general. Like, we're blazing through food. Do I need to cull some beavers? I may need to cull some beavers. I'll tell you what. First things first. Maybe I should turn some of these off. Drop back down to three breeding pods. That will use up less berries. And it should shrink the population a little bit. I think I do have too many beavers, to be fair. But yeah, remember last time we built these really, really... Hang on, let's pause you. Who's that? Sam. Everyone's sat in their butts. This is why I don't need so many beavers. They don't do anything. But yeah, this efficient machine, which um inflates its... Balls. Uh, this is a fermenter, and this turns cassavas, like four of them, into ten actual edible fermented cassavas. Now I've got two of these, and both of them are running very low on cassava. So what I'm what I'm thinking, this is my cassava field up here. If I just if I increase that, fill in that area there, I may need an extra farmer to do it. So let's build another farmhouse. That's 20 logs. For now, just to plant them, it should be fine because there's there's enough beavers just. Once they get growing to harvest them, we're gonna need we're gonna need more farmers. Cause look, there's there's kohlrabi's down here. We're not even digging them up. Anyway, how's the dam? We've got half a day remaining. There's oh, we need 20 logs. Right, for this last day then, I'm gonna have to increase working hours. 24 hour working. We need to get this dam done. Cause I really don't want these blueberries to die. I need them to produce fruit. Oh wait, is it 12 days just to grow from a seedling? And then 12 days to produce fruit? Oh, if that's the case, we are definitely screwed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, ideally, are you a builder, Fresicus? Are you a builder? Yes, okay, so we do have some builders still working. I don't know where everyone's gone. Like, it would be end of the day, and hardly any logs have come over. Let's just speed up. How fast is this getting built? Oh, yes, it's 50% done. Come on, eight more logs, eight more logs. Oh, it's nearly done. We're actually going to do it. We're going to do it. Come on, builders. Come on, builders. Is that the last piece? Yes. Okay, turn down 24-hour working. Everyone can go have some time off now. But it's the next morning. The drought has started. So as you can see, there's no water from the water sources. 
but because we've got this dam in, we've kept this area green. Um, oh, down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Slow down, slow down. Ah, pause. <laughs> You guys are pumping your wood way too much. Right, pause all of you. We have enough water. Now, you down there, you're pumping nothing. Matt Pro, you might be a pro at working your wood, but you're literally sucking up dirt down there. Um, oh, yeah, there's no there's no power being produced. So we've got to get the Wheel of Pain back on. So four workers in there, because we do actually need power. Oh, Matt Pro, you've... <laughs> Matt Pro has taken the demotion there. He is now making manual power. Come on, other beavers. That's it. Get in there. Help make the power. Okay, so that keeps my industrial area running. And I mostly, I just want these to work at full efficiency. We've got a lot of planks. I might pause the plankers. I might even pause the gears. We've got quite a lot of gears. So then we've just got this going, the smelter. Um, I might prioritize this by haulers as well, because the scrap metal is really, really far away. Like if we zoom out, the scrap metal comes from all the way over here. So if we had the haulers do that, then real chief engineer, he can do his chief work of just, well, just smelting bars into metal blocks. Uh, and I may get another smelter down here just so we're making it a little bit quicker. Right. Decent. I think we're, I think we're okay. Food back up to 112 somehow. Don't really know how that happened. Oh, I think it was the berries here started growing. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Um, let me just click on like a random beaver like you. Matt Rab. Oh, another Matt. Uh, let's just have a look how you're looking on everything. Oh, you still don't have the roof bonus. Did I not build a roof? Oh, I did. I did build a roof there. How has he avoided that? Oh, there's another path there. I didn't see that path. Oh, wait, no, it's not a path. That was an optical illusion there. Like that, that's, there's a step. There's like a level difference there. Yeah, so everyone sleeping should have the roof ability because they've all got to go down here. Oh, unless they're a scientist. If they're a scientist and they don't move, let's just have a look. No, Matt Rab is not in there. Wait, hang on. What's going on here then? What's going on? I'll tell you what, I can click this button up the top as well. And that tells me how everything's looking like the average of every beaver. So, ooh, we have some hungry beavers. Potentially because we've just woken up, it's morning. So I won't worry too much about that. Wet fur is a bit low. Perhaps I could build a shower to help with that. Now, the other foods are good. Ooh, what's that? campfire. Oh, I need to build some more campfires. Probably like two more and another rooftop terrace because it seems there's not enough space for everyone to use them. Okay, on it. As I said before, I'm having happy beavers this time. So I am prioritizing wellness. So we'll be in this well-being tab a lot. And I mean, they've added some cool stuff. Like we got a butt scratcher. Oh, I might actually add that. It's just a hundred science. Yeah, let's get a scratcher on the goat. Um, it is powered. It's weird. So it's got to come down here. So if I just shove that there, I may need to high prioritize this just... <laughs> Just for the lols. So fast forward through the night again. I tell you what, actually, I should probably let's get the other stuff done. So I want a campfire to so shove that up there. I want two more, don't I? So let's have two campfires there. Yeah, I said I wanted a shower. Yeah, you can shove that in that little space. Put a little path there. Nice. All right, and then oh look, the scratcher is done. Oh, and little baby beef is getting his butt scratched. Who's that? Got dying. <laughs> Nice. Oh, look at that. He is love. Oh, he just grew up. He grew up in front of my eyes. Is that the same beaver? Yeah. I've never seen a beaver do that before. That's... <laughs> He aged in front of my eyes. All right, mate, you're using that a bit too much now. We've been we've been watching this for a little bit too long. There we go. Now you're of working age. Go find a job. What is his job? Is He's unemployed. Hang on. Why is he unemployed? I have too many beavers. What's going on here? All right, what job can we give him? Let's get some more scrap metal. Oh, there's actually quite a lot of scrap metal. Now we'll get more scrap metal. So unpause that. Oh, no, Joel's gone in there. Um, if we get another log chopper. Yeah, there are some logs there. Let's get another one of those then. There you go. He's gone in there. You. So no more unemployed beavers. I'm not sure whether this double shower actually uses up water because like presumably all the water that comes out of a shower cleans your beaver. It just goes back like into the water. Like yes, it will contaminate this with like stinky beaver juice or whatever, but it shouldn't use it up, right? I'm not sure. We'll have to, we'll have to see, I guess. Anyway, oh yeah, let's prioritize this smelter as well and we'll be making more metal. We're up to eight. Uh, oh, probably could do some storage actually. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good sort of winter job, I think. Get some storage on the goat. When I say winter, it's, it's summer, I'd imagine, if it's a drought. Anyway, we'll get a large industrial pile down there. That can store metal blocks. On top of that, a medium warehouse. That can store store some gears actually but yeah we need a path over to that and that's given me an idea to get another rooftop terrace in so if i want to get a rooftop terrace let's say on this which by the way the devs have like it might just be for the for the iron teeth rather than the foxtails but this rooftop terrace because it's completely changed 
Like, you can't have a gig on there anymore. This was where the Beavles first got famous. What are we going to do without a Beavles concert this season? I don't know. But anyway, as we're short on rooftop terraces, we'll shove that. Yeah, if I shove it on there, I'm going to need double platforms. Now, annoyingly, these can't go on ground. They have to go on buildings. Now, let's stick with that. And then in that in that hole, we got loads of planks. So let's just double platform it. There we go. All right, anyway, three days remaining of the drought. Looks like food is sort of okay. We're in like the 90s, floating around triple digits. Uh, water, we're still around a thousand so yeah water's fine even though we're not pumping anything you see campfires being built now butt scratcher in constant use oh and down here look we've got our new yes the smoke is rising our new smelters in bradley mccain smelter extraordinaire so we're making twice as many metal blocks now i imagine though yeah look these guys don't have the power so we have reduced our output especially with the two fermenters although to be fair you don't have enough cassavas to work anyway i may as well pause you until we start growing these cassavas i, I assume they're, they're not grown yet are they yeah 90 oh they're about to be done okay i may have to turn that guy back on don't take that sentence out of context what you're about to see Disturb. Okay, I may have to turn that guy back on. Okay, I may have to turn that guy back on. But yeah, I'll unpause that building again because I think we will we will need double, especially if our efficiency is low. But I imagine once we've got all of these up and running again, we will actually be okay. Um, oh, that's something I want to add, actually. A cheeky extra little power wheel there, because we no longer need to get up to those. Nice. All right, something else I might do. A bit of a bit of food variety. I could get some mangroves on the go. So if I plant some mangroves, like, down there, that, that should give us some extra fruit. Also, a little bit of wood, if I ever want to chop them down. Um, aren't you meant to do that? Oh, you can't reach. Oh, they can't reach. Oh, I've also just realized i've put it right where my where my mega dam's going i'm um, right how do i get you to reach i think if i just wang some stairs like down there and that should be fine i thought they might be able to reach from up there but no chance no chance all right prioritize the stairs that should be done soon oh look they've actually started building the mega dam oh my good i did not expect that so soon oh wow look at the cassavas up here as well yeah we've really got to get everyone on cassavas there's so much food it's just there <laughs> Oh, to be fair, food is going up 152. Okay, so food, I think we've actually fixed now. I'll tell you what, I might I might get those unpaused again. Because without future generations, you got nothing. Oh, the rooftop terraces are in. Oh, look, the shower's done as well. Oh, this is going so well. My beavers, their happiness should start going up. Because, yeah, oh, it's a double shower, so they're both in it. Cheeky little moonlight shower, is it, lads? Lamp fist, Matez the fastener. I don't know why I said Des. <laughs> <laughs> clearly says there but right okay i feel like i'm ready to sort of move on to next phase like whilst the the mega dam gets built i think i'm pretty happy with the colony how it is progressing like we're slowly gaining all sorts of resources yeah i think we're i think we're good to move on to something a little bit new and uh, something i wanted to work on was getting that dynamite because dynamite is going to be a game changer so for dynamite we need quite a lot of science i've got science uh, but we need this explosives factory so that's fine we got 30 blocks i mean we only got 14 but we should have the blocks we got the gears we got the planks so we can get an explosives factory however in order to make dynamite we need five bad water now if you go into the water tab we can extract that with this a deep bad water pump so that's probably what i should focus on first so let's unlock that 250 science Boosh. And then this. Oh, look. It's a whole new log pumper. A whole new log pumper. It's gonna pump that poop water. There will be no water. It's all poop. Let's just hope our beavers don't drink it. All right, anyway, this needs to go up here where this dam is, probably. We've got a double depth of poo water stored there. So this is probably where I want to do it. I just, I just trying i'm going to get a path over here and we do have a path up that way i'll tell you what let's just bring that round and see exactly what we're dealing with like this is going to be a pretty stinky job but i really i want like a two depth -er. what about that oh there works Okay, that works. So we're going to shove our first one of those there. All right, so that's those in. I'm then going to shove a little bit of water storage in. But remember, it's not going to be storing water. It's going to be storing poo. But we'll shove 
two of those there, maybe another one like there. And all of these will just say store the bad water. All right, so wow, we are really, we are progressing today. We'll be getting bad water, which means I'm going to need my explosives factory. Do I want to try and add it to this? I probably do, don't I? So 400 science to unlock that. We've got the science. Let's get it unlocked. Yes. And then let's see how big the building is. Oh, it fits perfectly in there so that will turn five bad water into one dynamite boosh oh look over here they've already started building breticus they're thirsty but they've made the trek over to get these stairs in so yeah i'll tell you what i will use prioritize tool i'm not going to do very high i'm just going to do high because it's only got to be slightly slightly higher than the other things we're building but yeah we'll get that in first the stairs and then the pump then we'll do those as like a medium priority, the storage. And then we've got explosives factory as well. So by the time that's all done, I'm going to need some storage. So we'll get cheeky warehouse up there. That can store explosives. All right. And then if we fast forward through the night, which is the last night of the drought, um, and check out the food, 100 still. Check out the water, 600 still. So we're actually, we're really, we're in a good spot. Hence why I'm enjoying the season so much. I'm so positive about this season. Everything is going perfectly. So cycle five begins. The drought has ended. Water returns to the land, rejuvenates everything. And then as the water's back, let's get all the log pumpers back going. Even the one down here, which doesn't really do a lot. But skill cut, get involved, mate. All right, then we've got power again. So let's pause the, the wheel of pain. We'll unpause the, the planks and maybe, yeah, maybe the gear works. How much power is this all producing? A thousand horsepower? Yeah, we're producing like around a thousand horsepower. So that's awesome. All right, so sun is rising on another day. Oh, look, if we head over here, it's done. There's beavers heading over here. So this is the brand new log pumper. Uh, who actually, who works here, by the way? Lord Doom. <laughs> That is quite a related name, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, we've got our storage in as well. I assume, yeah, there's no there's no water stored in there yet. I assume it will be that color though. But yeah, we are now officially pumping poo. I love how efficient that building looks, by the way. That roof, incredible. Now, I do wonder, why is there why is there a hole in the end? Hmm, don't know, don't know. Right, so yeah, we have we have the poo water being stored. Um, you can actually see, look, these beavers, they're carrying it. Tool, that is, that is dangerous. Careful with that. Do not drop it in our fresh water here. Yeah, look, there's another one there as well. Well, Tezgrin always got broad shoulders for carrying the waste of the community. He's my Discord admin, by the way. He has to deal with all the architects that sneak in. Anyway, they, that's being delivered to here. Where? Who was that? Robert. Robert is turning that into explosives. So we now have explosives on the go, which means we can start to look at what we want to unlock. Now, there's actually, there's new explosives now. Uh, depending on which one you unlock is like how deep it goes. Oh, no, actually, they require, what's that? Dynamite plus like a little... A little chemical jar thing. How do I get a chemical jar? I uh, assume it's in here somewhere. Hang on. Fluid dump? You can dump bad water? Not just normal water? Why would you want to do that? Unless you actually, like, you really want to be mean to your beavers. I don't know why you'd want to, like, dump bad water. There's got to be a use for it somewhere at some point. Uh, we've got a stream gauge. And, oh, deep mechanical. No, not that. Centrifuge. Ah, so we need one of those to turn it into the... What does it turn it into? Usable extract. Now, that requires a fair amount of resource as well. We've only got three of those metal blocks. We don't have the science to unlock that yet, but we will need that if we want, like better dynamite because i feel like if i just punch some holes like in this river then this will definitely stay like wet for longer but yeah i'll have a think about that i don't think i want to do anything with that yet let's just get the dynamite built because i think we probably will store dynamite like when it's made but it's not like usable dynamite if that makes sense yeah because it's not actually dynamite it's explosives so we're making explosives but when we want to use these these are dynamite and they cost an explosive to build yeah got it anyway i'm going to prioritize the explosive explosives factory by haulers as well because i think we're not making many explosives because we're we're traveling to get the bad water ourselves we don't want to do that that'd be like if i were to edit my own videos that would be sacrilege i've got better things to do <laughs> no shout out to my editors absolutely love my editors yeah, it's probably kendall editing this shout out to kendall hi how are you insane editor look at this edit whoa look how edited it is whoa so much edit leave a comment below loving my editors thank you everyone um, oh by the way check out the mega dam we are actually building the mega dam i didn't even realize we'd be building it this soon let's get some more levies in just so it's all at the right level so yeah it's got to go up one more time there we go oh this is the mega dam's time to shine we've got mega dam over this side as well i've got oh, yeah, all that that space to put it in. Mega dam, mega dam does whatever a mega dam does. Oh no, something I've realized. 
Rachel Santos. For some reason, she's not planting anything down here. Why not? Why aren't you planting the mango? Do I need a path down there? If I shovel like a little path there, does that... No, I see some got planted. It is a forester that plants them, right? Yeah, required building forester. Why is she not planting those? By the way, I just found there's also... They added this. Replant dead trees not marked for cutting. So like, you know, like the early game ones, like these dead trees, like they'll plant those. That's pretty cool. And But yeah, what isn't cool? She's only planting like the big trees. Like now, if there's no trees chopped down, and what if I what if I prioritize mangroves? Yeah, look, she just she just stands up there. She's not fussed. So for whatever reason, she can't reach any from this staircase. So I think I'm gonna need like a staircase down there, maybe. So I'll plonk that there. That's like right next to the forester. So that should be all right. All right. Anyway, next morning. Oh man, loads of OGs died last night. Not ideal. The food is still really slacking. I need. To, I think I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna pause one of these for good. Because what are we up to? We're up to 55 B. I think that's just slightly too many. Just ever so slightly. Just slightly too many beavers. Yes, I was saying slightly a lot. Although, these are now fully grown, which means they will be growing very soon. So I think that will actually add quite a lot to our colony. So maybe maybe we'll leave it. Five breeding pods. It does mean we have five homeless beavers. So I've got to build more houses. Oh, what I could do. I could unlock that. That's 180 science though. But it would fit in that little gap perfectly. I don't know. Just do that. Just do that, Matt. That works just as well. All right, little stat check. So it looks like we finally got explosives on the go. That is good. Food is going back up again. Water's back up again. But, oh, happiness isn't. What's happened to happiness? We have an injury. We have to try and fix that. No one's using the campfires or roof terraces. I built all of them for nothing. Oh, and weirdly, no one's using the shrubs and stuff. Maybe, does that run off? Maybe I need to dot a few more of those around. I should have a little bit of roof down there. <laughs> little shrub down there as well. Put a lantern up on that corner, maybe? So yeah, beavers are probably coming up here because there's like, there's water and... Yeah, I'll put it there, actually. There's water and some campfires. Oh, look, we've gone up to nine already. Oh, that will help. The, the other barracks are in, so there should be less homeless beavers now. Right, oh, no, there's a drought approaching. So three days, there is another drought. Um, I think we're good, though. I think we're pretty... Yeah, we're in a good place. Oh, look, we've got the mangroves growing as well now. That will be more fruit. I think that's collected by a gatherer, so we better make sure there's one of them in range. So that in. Oh, something that is a bit silly. I've blocked off all those trees, so we can't get to them to chop them down. Oh, that's annoying. I think what I need to do is just wang a staircase like there, and then hopefully that guy will be able to reach. You can just walk through the mangroves. High prioritize that. Shush. All right, nice. Okay, so that's the final day before the next drought hits us. So as the sun sets, I think we'll leave it there for today, and the next time will be a really, really nice little episode where we progress the colony further. We can finally start getting those dynamite shoots in, so we can get some permanent green areas and i foresee nothing going wrong for now i'll say peace love and bridges bye guys